Hey guys, so I wanted to do a health update today because I have time and I haven't really had the time in a while. But a lot of stuff has changed or kind of continued to change. I would say that from what I remember what I left off on last time, all of the triggers and stuff, they're gone. So I'm over that. I feel fine now. Um, my car situation is more stable, so I'm a lot more at ease in general. And then it's not perfect, but it's pretty okay. Like, it's okay. Um, and then my weight started to come down. Like, I made it into the 270s today. I made it to, like, 278. And it's kind of weird. Like, to me, that's not that big. Like, I know to a lot of people that would still be, like, really radically huge. But to me, it's not that big at all compared to what I'm used to. And I think some of these numbers, they were things like I could never think of before. Or like, I never thought I would actually get there kind of thing. And it's pretty good considering like, you know, fat wise, I was, you know, probably around 309 at the beginning of the year. And it's 3... 78, three, you know, 378, 379, like in that range. So it's about 30 pounds, legit, this year. And it's only July. I'm like, that's really good. Especially because I still am a little bit swollen from the summer and stuff. I'll be really interested to see what happens this autumn as far as my weight. Because I'm kind of like on the edge. I'm on the tail end of morbid obesity now. Like my body fat as of today was 36.4, I believe. So it's like, if I lose a couple more pounds, it'll be like basically 36, you know, kind of thing. And then it's one more percentage point to be out of morbid obesity, you know, where it takes five. So I'm like making progress. I realized today too that weight wise, I'm probably around halfway to my goal because I've lost about 19% body fat and I need to lose like another 19 to get to my first goal. So I'm about halfway, which that's a weird feeling. I took some like shirtless uh, pictures of my upper body today and I was like, okay, like I look human, you know, I know that's weird to say, but sometimes when you're really, really big, you don't look human you look like something else I don't I mean I'm sure you guys can kind of understand what I'm saying but to me it's like I look like there's some structure to my body I look like a human being again especially on the upper body which hasn't really happened and I noticed it starting to happen over the last couple weeks where my body was kind of shifting and I was just like you know I look human again on the upper body like my legs were kind of on point for a minute like they've been more muscular and having a bit more structure to them. I do have slight loose skin on my thighs, but it's very positional. So it's like only in one position. So I'm gonna have to see what happens with that. Lately though, my cravings and stuff have really shifted. So I talk a lot about how, I talk a lot about how we have different needs physically at different times and there were a lot of times in my journey so far where I really needed carbs and fat and I needed energy and I think before I was still so in a survival state where I was really really like my body was constantly pushing for and demanding energy all the time and so the vast majority of my calories were from carbs and fat for a lot of my weight loss journey. I still have had a solid amount of protein every day, at least moderately. But in recent times, you know, I started kind of recently like eating a lot of gelatin. I don't know why, but one day I was looking at gelatin and I was just like, you know, I'm kind of craving this right now. Like I felt very kind of depleted in a way. And so I bought some gelatin and I was like, this is like, orgasmic this is amazing and um so I bought like jello a few days in a row and I kept making it and I was like this is amazing this is amazing 
And people kept telling me, they're like, you're just craving the sugar and the gelatin. You're not really craving the gelatin. And I was like, no, like I'm craving the gelatin. I want the gelatin. I was like, I had candy today anyway. It's like, I already had sugar. I already had candy anyways. If it wasn't about the gelatin, I wouldn't be wanting it so bad. And so eventually, like, I was kind of frustrated with Jello because it doesn't have enough gelatin in it. So I started buying unflavored. And then I was making it with juice. So I was making it with, like, apple juice. And it was kind of fire. I'm not going to lie. Like, I kind of love the apple juice one, even though it can kind of make you go to the bathroom, which is kind of scarring. And I don't like that part of it. But I loved it. And then I used, I made it in, like, pineapple juice, which that one wasn't as good. And then... I was just making it. I was making juice jello. Um, and I was like getting obsessed. And then lately I was just like, mm, like, I just want that gelatin, like that flavor of gelatin. I know it's weird. It's a very subtle flavor, but I'm really craving it. So I started just buying unflavored gelatin and adding it to yogurt. And it's amazing. And I don't have it every single day anymore, but there was a minute where I was having it every single day. And now I have it like at least every few days, but I crave it very often. So I don't know, I guess my body wants the collagen aspect, but it tastes so amazing to me. And it's definitely helping me feel more full at this moment. And then the other thing is I've really shifted towards a more protein era where I am like really wanting protein a lot so I have like protein yogurts I have um you know I don't have tons and tons of meat but I do have meat every day I'm gonna have a lot of meat tomorrow though I'm gonna have like three three beef patties tomorrow um with some pepperoncinis in the morning and yeah like I still have candy sometimes but it's not every single day anymore and it's kind of like less um at this time I think and then same with fat. Like, I just don't need as much fat. Like, I still need more carb than fat. But it's like, I really am wanting protein a lot. And um, I have a lot of protein within dairy, within dairy products. And then I have a lot of protein, like, like I said, for meat and stuff. And then the gelatin on top of it. So it's like, oh gosh, like, I'm really getting into a protein era. And, um... I'm just like, I'm kind of just going with it because I feel like a lot of times my body wanted the energy earlier on. So everything was energy focused and it's like my body had a goal of increasing the energy flow. And so what I craved within a deficit was specifically carbs and fat for the most part. And most of the time carbs and then occasionally after like sometimes weeks of eating lower fat I would crave fat massively that's not change where it's like I can have less carbs and fat and I want more protein and I think about meat a lot more and I think about gelatin and I think about dairy and I think about these things a lot more and so I think my body is just at a different stride where my body is wanting to rebuild it's not as much about energy now I think it's about rebuilding and body structure and I've noticed a difference. Like I said, I looked in the mirror today and I was like, you know, you look human again. You look like you have some kind of structure. I feel like my posture has improved. I've really upped my weights at the gym because I was starting to get frustrated with my, my hunger and with my plateau. And so I was like, okay, well, if I'm going to eat more, then I'm just going to start going up in the weight at the gym drastically then. I'm just going to start putting on muscle and I'm just going to go for it if I want to eat more. And I've been able to. Since I started eating tons of gelatin, like I could lift a lot more. I recover a lot faster. Like I'm like, whoa. So I think my body is definitely in a rebuilding era. It's in a protein era for sure. I've had another protein era throughout the journey. It was spring of 2022. During that time, I would eat a chicken every single day. I'd eat like a whole rotisserie chicken every single day for like months. So I have these moments. Obviously, right now I'm in a deficit, so it's different. I'm still losing. But I'm enjoying it. And I'm thinking about gelatin right now. And I'm like, I want it again tomorrow. You know, it's pretty wild. It's very low calorie, by the way. 
but I mean, I don't know if everybody's going to need it all the time like I do right now, but I've really been into it. And so I think that that's, it's just kind of interesting to be in that rebuilding point. Um, other than that, I feel like I've definitely been a lot more, like we're going to talk about some sexual stuff a little bit in this. I've been a lot more sexual lately. Um, like, I'm not used to it because honestly, like, I am celibate. I'm not in cell. I'm just cell. But I am at this time because I'm not a hoe and I'm not, you know, I'm single, single as can be. <sighs> Desolately single. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, I'm not a hoe like that, but it's like, I was talking to one of my friends and I was just like, you know, it's easy to not be a hoe when you're like dead, you know, when you don't, when you have no health and it's like your drive isn't that high, but it's like, it's becoming a major part of my, my mind and my brain at times where it's like, you know, if my estrogen isn't super high, like it kind of is today. So it wasn't really on my mind today. Cause I'm just like, well, because that's always like kind of fluctuating throughout the weight loss. But when it's on a lower end and the, the testosterone is higher that day or like it's more of a thing, I'm literally like I can walk through the grocery store and it's like I'll look at almost any guy that's like even remotely attractive and I'll think about having sex with him. And it's like, whoa. And it's just like, oh, my gosh. And I was like, honestly, experiencing sexual frustration I, I mean I'm just gonna be honest I was you know I have been throughout July like I have and it's like oh my gosh like I have to really kind of channel this energy because I'm not into being a hoe like that like I told you guys I'm not a hoe I'm not gonna become a hoe I'm definitely a relationship girly pop you know so I'm not doing that stuff but it's like, I'm like wanting to kind of hoe out a little bit. I'm not going to, only in my mind, only in my dreams. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's so bad. Um, no, I'm just, I'm kidding, but not, but yeah, it's bad. So I think I'm just feeling, it's like funny when you have these moments sometimes, or when I have these moments sometimes, where I feel, this is just very male, you know, where it's like, I feel very, very male. Like I'm thinking about sex a lot, a lot of the time. And it's becoming a part of my daily life and like a part of my mental matrix in a way that it hasn't been since I was really young, you know, or since I was young. And I think it's just because I'm getting so much healthier. And so I'm trying to use that energy and like, redirect into like productivity and other types of things and continuing the process and like all this type of stuff because I just have more energy in general and I think that that's a part of it and so I'm going to I've noticed too like I've put a lot of that energy into some more of my mystical kind of pursuits and that kind of stuff which I don't really want to get into, but I've noticed, you know, for those of you guys who believe in like psychic abilities and stuff, I've noticed a heightened ability as I've gotten healthier too. So it's been really a trip this summer. Honestly, I've had a lot of things where I didn't expect this stuff to happen basically, but I think it's just health in general, just improvement in general. And I think that that's kind of where I've been, you know, just getting much more intuitive and a lot of these stuff being more empathetic, which I'm like, oh gosh, like, I don't want to feel other people's feelings. I'm just <laughs> I don't, but I've experienced it a lot more and I'm just like, ugh, you know, <laughs> I'm like, oh no, let's shut that down. I'm just kidding. But, um. But no, it's weird. Like, I've been feeling that. It's like, I feel like 
it's just grown. A lot of that kind of intuition related stuff has grown a lot in the past month. And so I'm just kind of just adjusting everything. Um, I think that that's, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say, but that's really the major developments that I've noticed and the major changes. Um, I will say like, I just, I feel a lot less shy in general and that feels good because I didn't like how shy I was last year. And so I think a lot of things are honestly just better and I'm just doing better, basically. I don't really know what else to say other than like, it's definitely improvements. Um, but it's like, gosh, you know, what a trip. What a trip. Um, I'm just trying to think of if there's anything else I wanted to say. I feel like there might have been... But I think I got most of it covered. That's honestly what's been happening. Um, I will keep you guys posted. Like I said, I am losing again. I am going to take some days off. It's my birthday's coming up. So I'm not expecting to lose a lot in the next few weeks. Because my birthday is a thing. And then I'm going to LA. And that whole thing. And I'm going to eat a little bit more. Because me and Eric, we're going to have some treats and stuff because he's been dieting. And so we're going to take a little bit of a breather together, basically. Because um, I still want to make a cake for him. Maybe I'll do some videos for my members because I want to do like a pro thyroid cake for him. Because um, I wasn't able to see him for his birthday and stuff. So... We're going to do that, and then I have some other stuff. I'm going to be working a lot when I'm there. I'm going to be filming a lot. Everything is a work-related thing. Everything is a job. I'm in my girl boss era. I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> I kind of feel like that low-key, though. It's kind of weird. I'm like, oh, gosh. Like, I focus on work a lot now. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah. So trippy. Anyways, this never used to be me. I will just say it never was me. Um, but I think I was just sick, honestly. I really think I was just sick. And so I feel like I've had, this is what I wanted to say too. I feel like I've had such a turn and such a, a return to healthy ambition and to a sense of competing with myself rather than like with love interests or with others, you know, like the public or like, I'm going to fight you, you know. I'm not really in that mode as much. I feel like it's just more of like a, I'm minding my business. I try not to judge others as much. Like I've noticed my sense of judgment going drastically down as time has gone on. I don't feel as like archer energy or like I'm ready to fight all the time. Like that's started to calm down a bit. So it's interesting because I'm like, okay, like, how is this going to go? You know, and I feel like it's going in a good direction. It's just, I do get that melancholy sometimes. And I think it's also kind of sad times. So I feel like a lot of people feel that way these days, but I still get that. I think with the weight loss, I still get sad and I kind of just let it come in and then go back out. But overall, it's like definitely more ambitious and self-competitive and feeling good about how my body looks, which is interesting, you know? So I think, I think things are turning a corner, honestly. Because like I said, I, I think when I took a shirtless picture today, it was like the first time that I ever actually felt better about how I looked rather than neutral or worse, right? And today it was like, I literally said this to myself, which this is really, <laughs> I don't know if I should say this. Um, I'm not going to say that. Never mind. I was just like, I don't know. Like I felt sexier, I guess. That's what I was trying to say. I was going to say something kind of appropriate, but I was like, no, I felt sexier today. And I'm just like, okay. 
that's a good feeling. Like, I like having that feeling. And I want to continue it. And I like feeling my muscles and my arms and, like, in my body and all that stuff. And it feels more, like, I just feel more sexual in a good way. And I think it's just being healthier, you know? So, I don't know. Sex positivity era? I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I, like, started talking about that all the time? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not really sex negative, but it's, like, you know, I don't know. Just kind of embracing that more, I think, with the weight loss. Because it is kind of a barrier, you know? So I just feel better about it. I don't know. I felt sexier today. I did. So anyways, you guys, I'll talk to you later. I'll do another update when enough has changed. I'll talk to you guys soon.